I explained that this horrific crime met the federal definition of domestic terrorism. New charges and 90 new counts filed against the suspected Walmart shooter. Thanks for being with us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. They include hate crime charges. Federal officials holding a news conference today. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields was there. Stephanie. <laughs> Well, KTSM got a hold of this nine-page federal indictment before today's news conference. It details the new charges along with potential punishments. The attack deeply scarred this community. Federal officials reaffirming they believe the Walmart mass shooter was a domestic terror attack, one fueled by hate. It was an attempt to intimidate or coerce the civilian population, and I said that we would do at the Department of Justice what we always do to people who perpetrate terrorist attacks in this country. We would deliver swift and certain justice. The new federal indictment includes 22 counts of hate crimes resulting in death, 23 hate crimes involving an attempt to kill, and 45 counts of discharging a firearm in relation to those hate crimes, 90 counts in total. People in our nation have the right to go to a store on a Saturday morning without fear that they will be shot and killed because of who they are or where they are from. The suspect already faces a state capital murder charge. The El Paso District Attorney is seeking the death penalty. Federal prosecutors say the death penalty is also on the table for some of the new charges, but whether to pursue it will be up to U.S. Attorney General William Barr. In this case, both the federal and state prosecutions vindicate distinct but separate interests and uh, he will be prosecuted on parallel tracks in the federal and state cases. The El Paso County District Attorney says his office will cooperate with the U.S. Attorney's Office in the prosecution of the federal charges. In a statement sent to us, D.A. Jaime Esparza says, quote, We support the indictment by the U.S. Attorney's Office as one more way of holding the shooter accountable. Christius is expected to make his initial appearance in federal court next week on Wednesday at 10 a.m. KTSM will be there. Stephanie Shields, KTSM, Main News. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much.